Hi. In this video, I'm gonna give you a demonstration of the Maserati DRM plugin, which I have used on my drums. As you can see, in the first track, I got the raw audio file. And let's load up the channel settings. Um, let's activate this plugin and have a look at it. Yeah, this is it. Uh, first, a little explanation. Uh, the thump gives you more uh, the low end boom, as you may call it. Uh, the treble, uh, well, it speaks for itself. Uh, the snap is like the amount of compression is used on it and the sensitivity uh, gives you the uh, amount of the original signal with the, the mixed signal right okay and the output here I think I don't have to explain that one okay so let's have a listen to the drums uh, without the plugin while you are listening, I am going to turn on and off so that you can hear the difference. Uh, I have already set it up to the B, uh, but let's turn it to full reset first. Here we go. Okay, as you can hear, it is very, very compressed. So, uh, while played it again, I am going to uh, take down the amount of compression so that you can hear the difference. And again, between the process, I am going to turn off and on so that you can hear it. Okay, here we go. Okay, well, as you can hear already, it gives a world of difference. Okay, uh, let's go to the preset I have used for this demonstration. First, again, without, and then while listening, I'm going to turn it on.
Okay, that sounds really, really great with the plugin turned on. So, uh, this is one way to use it, but you can also use it as a parallel compressor, which I have also uh, set up here in this project. And I'm going to show you guys right now. Okay, so let's turn the plugin first off. Uh, you already heard that on the original file only. And the PC stands for Parallel Compressed. Uh, yeah, I sent it first to a bus. I called it the dry signal. And yeah, it goes to my master output and I put another bus in my project and here I have loaded the yeah exact same settings from my setup B okay and I have already uh, blended in the original file signal sorry uh, so uh, this is the raw file without any compression on it and this is the exact same file uh, with just a little amount of compressed uh, in the parallel way so, right so I'm gonna solo this one uh, play it while play it I'm gonna click this one so it will be soloed and you can hear the difference with and without parallel compression Okay, as you can hear, uh, we have, uh, when we use a parallel compression way, the original signal is blended with a uh, very compressed version of it, so to say. And, oh yeah, that's pretty it. Um, I'm gonna play around with this plugin. Maybe you would like to uh, still keep watching uh, for those who are interested, it, it's a very great plugin to use, like I've said, uh, on your raw material, but also as a parallel compression, right? So I'm uh, gonna play with it a little bit.
okay well that's enough <laughs> right uh yeah i got carried away it's a very fun plugin to use and if you have the chance to use it i definitely definitely recommend it okay well thanks for watching this tutorial and till the next time